Okay. I wanted to show progress I'm making on my um, sewing, my quilt blocks. I'm going to take off my clips because I actually have the other side completely done stitch-wise. Put those clips so it's not dragging all over the place. And you can see here's the whole dressed in plate. Because I'm trying to hold the camera and show you so it's going to be kind of weird, I know. But there's the whole dressed in plate. This one's done. So I'm pretty proud of it. There's a few boo-boos that I've got to go fix. You know, there's certain boo-boos that need to be to be dealt with. But I'll do that at the very end. Um, I think there was one over here too somewhere. Yeah, right there. But otherwise, we're it's it's pretty looks I'm pretty happy with it. I really am. Um and I'm working on the other one today. I still got a whole lot to do on her. Um I think there was eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm on I'm working on number one of the one of them. So then I'll have this whole panel done and I'm going to let it um, hang up and try to wrinkle out because one, you cannot dry, you cannot iron this because then it'll set this ink. So you can't spray it and block it because then the ink will disappear. And I need these for my stitch lines. Yes, Daisy, we can tell. No, do not get up here. No, ma'am. Well, you saw how well that worked. Are you proud of yourself now? Why are you being a booger bear? I know, that's mommy's lunch. Um, so anyway, I need these lines. So the only way I know to do it is to hang it up and with some clothespins on the end to give it a little bit of weight to try to, to hang it dry and go from there. Or I've got a completely magnetic door. Well, I mean, I've got a steel door. I've got a steel front door that I have magnets. That I may stretch it a little bit and and even it out and do use magnets. Um, I'm just gonna use whatever I have around the house to get this to lay a little flatter, because with it being rolled up in these clips, it's a little wrinkly. So that's something you're just gonna have to keep in mind: is you can't iron and you can't wash. So what are you gonna do? Um, once I get all my stitches on here and get my free motion stitches done, then I can wash and and dry and all that. Um, but as of right now, I can't do that. So, it kind of sucks. But, anyway, um, yeah. That's all I've got for today. But I just want to show you how I'm making progress. And I talked to the lady, um, you know the lady, the Fiber 10 Acres that made my, uh, crochet hook roller? She is going to make me a project bag for my crochet, or uh, not me, my, my cross stitch. And it's going to be a zippered bag to where I can put my hoop in there and keep everything nice and clean. Because y'all know how much I hate having dog hair on anything. And with Miss Attitude here, thinking everything's hers, I'm, I'm scared there's going to be dog hair on it. So, i trying very hard to keep it away from her, to keep her away from it, but it's just not working out so far. So, she's gonna, she took on the project and said, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take on that project. And, um, so she's going to, um, why is my finger in this shot? In the camera, oh, that's my fat roll finger, haha. <laughs> um, so she's gonna take that project on. But I just wanted to show y'all that I've got one dressed in plate done and I'm working on another. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. And um yeah. Daisy, do you have anything you would like to say to your people? So for send treats. Yes, I know. You want cookies, huh? You want cookies. <laughs> we love y'all.